G'day fellas, welcome back to part 16, I think it is, of Let's Play Bioforge. So, we're now about to enter the cave that we just in unsealed with the live warhead. Now, from this point the game really starts to take off. Um, <laughs> big things are going to happen in this episode, so... Um, without further ado, let's get it started. I love that airlock design. That is just beautifully kind of. It's yeah. I really like the concept of it. Uh, put that away in the inventory again because we're not going to need that for a while. And what's this? It's a woman, and there's something eating her. <laughs> That was not the most convincing moan I've ever heard. Um, now these things are annoying as heck. Whatever you do, don't punch them while they're in their rolled up slater state. But that's, that's kind of what they remind me of a bit, is slaters. Um, because they'll just go flying around the room and then it'll be the world's worst work to find them. Now these things take a pounding, they're indigenous life forms on the planet. A sort of parasitic creature or carrion eater. Come on. Alright, next one we're going to hit it with a kinetic attack I think. These things take a pounding, they are <laughs> the most annoying enemy by far in the game. Gotcha. What a disgusting smell. Lovely. I need a doctor. Now if you used up the healing device on yourself, um, well, then there's a consequence to that, and that you can't use it on her. So that's one of the reasons why we were saving the healing device. Thank you. I never asked for this. <laughs> now. Oh, we went the wrong way. So basically this thing resuits us. Remember that um, doesn't look that way, mate. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. No, I don't think so, mate. Now, you remember that creature we dropped off the reactor? 
um, pretty intense radiation zone about 300 feet. Now imagine if that creature had not um, been killed by that impact but just really really pissed off. Uh oh. Oh, good grief. Hit it. Hit it. Help. <laughs> Seriously, if you can avoid it, you do not want to get into melee with this thing. Alright, did you see it just punch through the brick wall there? Yeah. This thing can rip. Ooh. Ow. Hey, come back here. I haven't finished blasting it yet. Oh, he looks pretty smacked up too. Looks like that 300 foot fall didn't do him much good. Yeah, trust me when I say it is very easy for that fight to go bad. If he start, if he gets too many wallops on you, you're gone. The best bet is to put a little bit of distance between yourself and him, and to just keep blasting him. Alright, this is not the last time we run into him, and we want to have a bit of battery free. Come on, mate, you can do it. Probably be easier if you use the other end, mate. <laughs> oh yeah. So that's just a journal entry saying there's another dude in here. Now I'm just gonna do this next puzzle in the next video so that anyone who doesn't like watching long drawn out puzzles can just skip it, but basically you do the puzzle and it deactivates the force field, so until then fellas, have a good one.